Okay. Well, you know what? I've uh, been pretty busy actually making uh, banana bread, and um, and basically I started a uh, a vegetable patch garden with uh, some herbs as well. So I've been very busy uh, cultivating my little bit of land I've got at the back of my house, and uh, and seedling, you know, getting some seedlings and and putting them in the ground and getting some spring onions and and beans, beans, growing some beans as well, and some. All sorts of things in there, so it's the time has given me, has enabled me to, to uh, in the end of the day, enabled me to grow things. So that's what I've been up to. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? It's been amazing that I've been able to actually go into my record collection again after so many years and play some amazing tunes from going right back to the 70s even and play a lot of funk and a lot of soul and disco. Uh, I mean, I used to play hip hop as well, so a lot of great hip hop there. Real early 88, 89 house music and techno music. I found some real amazing Lenny D and Frankie Bone stuff. Some, some early Sven Vates music in there as well, Lauren Garnier, uh, Richie Horton, the, the list goes on. It's just amazing that the amount of music that is still not out on digital, uh, still available if you have it on vinyl, if you bought it back in the day, I still have it to play. And it still sounds fresh. So I think you're going to find somewhere on, along the line that I'm going to be doing some vinyl sets. I have to do it. It's impossible not to.
thought that you had arrived just to get back where you started and find out that everything is gone. The joy that you used to have is gone. The, the peace that you used to have is gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything that you used to have is gone. And it was the thing that was dear to you. Somebody say dear, dear. And the Bible says, after that happens, now these are strong men, men of glory. They begin to cry and they begin to weep. But after they got through crying, they got to blame somebody. Don't that sound just like us sometimes? We got to find a reason to put the fault on somebody else. Oh yes, oh yes.
Yeah, uh, so many questions, so little time. I mean, it's amazing um, that people, so many people are still interested in all these years. I actually own roughly about 150,000 pieces of vinyl, and they start off 1968, and I was kind of still collecting vinyl uh, 2007. So that's where I stopped basically having vinyl at that time. And that last record is called Electronic Tip. I mean, at the moment now, we've been doing quite a few streams, and uh, one of my my own streams on, on my own Facebook is uh, one of one, one of the ones that I really enjoy is called Cabin Fever, and where I'm basically playing just vinyl every single session that I'm doing. That's what I'm doing, and of course, I've been FaceTiming my family and friends, make sure that they're okay overseas, um, and of course, you know, everyone that's out there to just 
you know, wish to stay safe and, you know, together we'll get through this. Uh, but there's not much we can do. I mean, I'm, I'm reading books at the moment. Um, I'm fixing my garden and, you know, I'm baking and cooking. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to start a cookery show and, um, you know, based on my own style of cooking. And I've been actually asked to, to make some Bayesian food. Now, many years ago, my mother basically made it and I ate it, so I didn't know how to make it. So I'm going to take the time out now to do some nice jerk chicken, uh, some, some something with sweet potato in, uh, I'll do some Jamaican patties. I'm going to just start doing some, some food from my uh, mum's uh, motherland.
yeah, you know, it's it's kind of nice to have all this time and space to, to be able to kind of sit back and, and in the end of the day try to uh, just evaluate what we do next. And you know what, it, it's, it's kind of nice where I am in the country. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of residing at the moment to, to travel a bit more and, and enjoy the places a bit more where I've been to over the years and enjoy kind of like, you know, the culture and the people that I, that I visit and, and to kind of learn a little bit more about, you know, my country folk. And, you know, I haven't had the time to do that all the time. I've been DJing in the way that I have. So, you know, once we get out of this uh, pandemic and hopefully that'd be one thing I'd like to do a little bit more and just to travel and, uh, you know, travel to places which I want to kind of learn more about the culture and the countries that I've been at. So this is one thing I'd like to do once we get out of this. I mean, look, the thing is, at the end of the day, we know we're not on our own with what's going on here. We're, we are all of this together, and together we'll get through this. So we just have to basically, you know, listen to you know, what, what the government have to say, listen to what people in society do. If they're not well, you know, help them. You know, try and help people as much as you can in, in our lives now. I think this is the only thing we can do. And if we give a little bit more to, to, to other people, and maybe at the end of the day, you know, we will be better for it. So, you know, I, I try to do my best as what I can as an individual to try to help people. And if, if the music is a healer, then here I am. I am the doctor for music, playing the music to you to make sure that you have a great time by what I do. But this is just one thing. I mean, if we can basically understand that we're, we're not on our own with this and, and if we are all in this together and then I think we're going to come out of this much much better people based on understanding of where we are right now in our lives. Well to be honest it's a, it's a, it's a remix which I've just done for a guy called Raul Salmi and it's called Eskis and what's, what's really amazing about this next tune it's based on uh, a, a very old dear friend of his that had a car accident and died and he made this beautiful tune in his honour and, and I felt it. So I basically did a remix for him and uh, elaborated a little bit more on the emotion of it and I think where we are right now this is amazing to have something that's so heartfelt that uh, I think it's really poignant that I play this record at the end, not, not just for roll but for everybody. So uh, here it is, it's Eskis. Um, and it's called it's called Eskis and it's by Roll Salmi. And I'm sweating myself to pieces. I'm working. If I ain't if I ain't working, if I ain't sweating, I ain't working. <laughs> Hundred percent. 